Hmm, dark. Okay. So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing is we need to make sure we know all of these graphs as well as their transformations. All right. So first of all, the first function is exponential. If you guys remember the exponential function, kind of go over here. Exponential function has a y-intercept at 1 and looks something like that. So if taking this graph, you can see I'm adding one outside the function. So I'm basically just shifting the graph up two units. Okay. Now, also, there's a horizontal asymptote here that's being shifted up as well. So the graph is not going to cross 1 because that got shifted up. So the graph looks something like this. Again, if when, you, when I pass back your guys' quizzes, you'll notice I didn't not mark you down for not having perfect graph, but you should have the general shape of the graph. Um, now, this says only graph this function for x is greater than 0. So x is greater than 0 is only positive x values. So I'm going to delete all of this. And I'm going to make this a nice hole. Anybody have any questions on the first equation? Good. Second equation is a line. Whew, you guys should like lines. Line, OK. Slope, 2 over 1, y-intercept, 2. Go over to 2, up 2, over 1, or down 2, over 1. Right? So the line looks something like that. Now, the problem with this line, though, is that it is equal to at 0. So that now gets filled in. But its x is less than or equal to 0. So even though that's equal, nothing greater than 0 is a part of this graph. So I'm actually going to remove that portion. And then it says x has to be greater than negative 1. Well, here's negative 1. Here's positive 1. So x is greater than negative 1 only from moving to that portion. So therefore, all of that gets done. But it says x is greater than negative 1, so that's a whole. Did I say that? Now, moving to the last one, which is a quadratic, which again, you guys should be very, very familiar with the quadratic. Looks like this. right? But what is happening in this graph? You have an x plus 1. Do you guys see that I'm adding a 1 inside the function? See, it's inside the x squared, so it's affecting the x squared. So it's inside the function. x plus 1 is going to be shifted to my graph, 1 unit to the left. And it says x is greater than or equal to uh, negative 1, so it's going to look something like that. However, it says only graph x for less than negative 1, so that's equal to. And then it looked like something like that. Okay. Now, this is a continuous function. So if we were going to look at the domain, you guys could say the domain is negative infinity to infinity because this graph is going to keep on expanding. And then you guys could also see that the range is the lowest the graph is going is going to be at 0, which is included. And it's going to go as high as infinity. OK? Cool. Just a little FYI 